Corned beef is probably my favorite kind of uh, sandwich meat. You can buy it in the stores, but it's not as good as making it yourself. You see all these spices? First, we need to make a brine. And these are the spices that we're gonna put in our brine. Here I have about a dozen cardamom pods. Just give them a little smush, just to release the flavor and to break them up a little bit. The insides are gonna come out like this. Then we have some bay leaves. I've got about five or six. Just crunch them up in your hands like this, put it in the pan. Then we have a mustard seed and about a tablespoon. Put that in as well. Black uh, peppercorns, about a tablespoon, like this. Here we have allspice, about a tablespoon. Coriander seeds, about a tablespoon. Here we have um, just some red uh, chili flakes, about a tablespoon. Here we have some cloves, a teaspoon, some uh, ground ginger. So you'll put about a, a teaspoon. Right, these are our spices. Why do we put them in this pan? We're gonna heat them up. We're gonna have them release some of their essence. We're just gonna gently, gently roast them. We don't want them to burn. As soon as they become fragrant, we're gonna take them off. We don't want it to smoke. If it smokes, you're gonna burn them. No good. I almost forgot. We're gonna add a few sticks, a few pieces of uh, cinnamon. So just move it around. We're just toasting them a little bit. You can start to smell it. I'm touching the um, all berry spice. Oh, it's warm. Yeah, it's warm. So this is, uh, this is good now. Okay, we're gonna take it off the heat. Mm, it smells very good. It smells like um, corned beef. So we're putting in a mortar and pestle here. We're just gonna let it cool a little bit. We're gonna break it up. I put my hand like this so the spices don't jump out. Mm, that smells exactly like corned beef. That's what you want, this is good. In here we put about four liters of water. I have 300 grams of kosher salt. Pink salts, Prague number one powder, have five teaspoons. The reason it's pink is because uh, they didn't want people to mix this salt with regular salt. Then we're gonna add half of our spices. We're gonna keep the other half when we cook the corned beef, we're gonna add the balance of our spices. What we wanna do at this point is just to dissolve the salt and just to have the spices just cook a little bit to infuse the water. The last thing we wanna add in here, this is half a cup of um, brown sugar. We're just gonna stir it just so that everything dissolves. Once it starts to boil, we're gonna cut the heat. While we wait for this, let's look at our meat. Here we have a piece of brisket. It's about six pounds, and we're gonna put it in this pot here. It's quite a large piece. I'm gonna cut it in um, three pieces. You can see there's lots of fat on brisket. We're not gonna take it off right now. We're gonna cook it with the fat and all later and then it gives you the option if people want a fattier cut of meat, then you can offer that to them. Now, as you can see, our brine has come to a boil. We're gonna cut the heat. We're gonna let this come lower than room temperature. We're gonna cool it. It's cold outside. I'm gonna put it outside and we're gonna wait a few hours for this to cool before we put it on our meat. This has been outside now for a few hours. All we're gonna do now is pour it on top of the uh, brisket. We're just gonna raise it a little bit, make sure that the brine goes everywhere. When I put the lid on, it's gonna push the meat down so that everything's covered. If your bowl is bigger, you want everything to be submerged because it'll float. So what you can do is you can put a plate or two, it'll press it down, and then you can put your lid. In the bottom here, there are a lot of the spices, and we're just gonna take 
some of the spices and put them in. So it's Sunday today. We're gonna leave this in the fridge until next Saturday. Between now and then, we're gonna turn the meat every day or two. We're gonna put the lid. All we need to do is to put this in the fridge. It's Wednesday. Let's see how this looks. All we need to do now, and we've been doing this Monday, Tuesday, we're gonna do it tomorrow and Friday. We're just gonna flip everything around so we basically took the pieces from the bottom, we turned them, and we put the bottom piece on the top, and the top is now on the bottom. We're gonna cover it up and put it in the fridge and do the same and repeat tomorrow. It's Saturday. This has been uh, brining for about six days. Let's see. All we're gonna do now, we have a big uh, cast iron pot. We're gonna transfer everything in there. and our third piece. We're just gonna rinse it a little bit, take off the excess brine. So once you've uh, swished it around a little bit, we're gonna empty this water. Okay, the next step is very easy. Fill it up with water. We're gonna turn it on extra spices we had, we're gonna put that in. We're gonna let this come to a boil, then we're gonna turn it down to the lowest possible simmer, and we're gonna simmer it for three to four hours. Once it starts simmering, put the top back on and just leave it. It's been about four hours now. We're gonna take one piece. Oh wow, this smells really good. And we're gonna put it on the cutting board. All right, you can see here, this piece has quite a bit of fat. Depending on your taste, you can take the fat off, which we will do, because we don't wanna to eat too much fat. You're gonna to wanna to cut this against the grain. You can see the grain here, it goes this way. You wanna cut it this way. We're gonna take a little bit more of the fat off. Wanna stay a little bit healthy. It looks very tender. It's just coming apart, as you can see. Wow, it's falling apart, which is good. So to assemble this, you want a good quality mustard. I like Keen's very much. Put a good amount on each slice of bread. Then, Put some pieces of corned beef on it. Stack it up as much as you want. Close it up. And there you have it. Corned beef sandwich.